I couldn't rush it to finish within the 15, to keep it under 15 minutes in the last video, so I just cut it off to finish in this one. Uh, because there's so much here to, that we can cover, and you need to read it, you need to pray about it, you need to let the Holy Spirit guide you. The whole point of all this is to show this isn't about this isn't about ceremony. This has purpose. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. That's not ceremonial. If that's ceremonial, uh, that would be amazing. If it's just ceremonial. It says only a shadow. These things were to teach us that we cannot live in, in the consuming fire. That's what all the sacrificial system was for. It was to teach us the wages of sin is death, as Paul talks about. It wasn't to play games. It wasn't, oh, well, this is a ceremony. We'll just kill all these animals for no reason. You think they killed all, these ani all the animals that they did during the feast for no reason? You think they, they did a daily burnt offering twice a day? For, for just ceremonial reasons? Are you serious? Uh, come on. I mean, he was trying to, he was using this to teach them. And it says he, in verse 6 of chapter 10 of Hebrews, In whole burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin you have taken no pleasure. But they are a reminder of, of sin and what the consequences of sin are. You know? Verse 10. By this will we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. That's what this sacrificial system was to teach us. It's our need for a Savior. You want to see the gospel message? You know, sacrificial system is where it's at. It's a little bit more in-depth than what the people want to do the Roman road, maybe, but that, that they love to use. But this is, the, this is the core of why Messiah came. This is at the core of, of the whole thing. Why was the tabernacle in the middle of... The, the camp, the camp of the Israelites, where you had three tribes. He didn't do this just, oh, well, let's do it as a ceremony. There was a reason why the tribes went left in the order that they did. You know, who, carry, who was allowed to carry the tabernacle in the wilderness? This all has purpose. And I can't tell you that I have it all that I know it all by any means. But I'm trying to show you this is not ceremonial. You know, it talks about that this is quoting from Jeremiah thirty one thirty one through thirty four. It's in in Hebrews ten verse sixteen through eighteen. This is the covenant I will make with them after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws upon their heart, and on their mind I will write them. Does that sound like someone who, that the law was done away with? No, he puts it upon our heart. Not just tablets of stone, but upon our heart. Write them. Verse 17, And their sins, sins and the sin, their lawlessness deeds, I will remember no more. Now there are those where there is forgiveness of sin, these things, there is no longer any offering for sin. Hold, uh, therefore, brethren, since we have confidence to enter the holy place by the blood of Yeshua, Jesus, you know, by his sacrifice we enter the holy place. Not on our own, but by his blood. As pre as a nation of kings and priests says, we have access to the holy place. Sanctification. Read, pray, obey. 
The bread, the word is the word of God. The incense are prayer. The the uh, menorah represents the Holy Spirit and the oil, and how we shine, how we how we shine, and how we prepare to enter the presence when our high priest enters once a year, which hopefully I can make that apparent. Uh, confident. Verse 20. By a new and living way which he inaugurated for us through the veil, that is his flesh. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled clean from the evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stimulate one another to love and good deeds, not forsaking our own assembling, the forsaking our own assembling together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more, as you see the day drawing near. We are the, here. That's part of being in churches to encourage and lift up one another and to be there. It's supposed it should be a hospital for people and a, a safe place that they can be. Verse 26, For if one sinning willfully after receiving the knowledge of truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sin. Hello? This means that not once saved, always saved. We can we can backslide. We can apost And if we backslide far enough, we, we apostatize. And our hearts become hardened, and there is no, no salvation after that. But is, but a terrifying expectation of judgment and the fear of fire, which will consume the adversaries. Anyone who has set aside the law of Moses dies without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. How much severe punishment do you think he who he will deserve, who has trampled underfoot the Son of God and has regarded as unclean the blood of the covenant? by which he was sanctified and has insulted the spirit of grace. For we know him who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. Which is a quote out of uh, Deuteronomy 32, verse, 20, verse 35, according to the cross-reference. Um, and again, the Lord will judge his people. It is a terrifying thing to fall into the hands of the living God. But remember the former days when, after being enlightened, you endured a great conflict of suffering. And, you know, we can we go on to the stuff... tribulation uh, partly by being made a public spectacle through reproaches and tribulations and partly by becoming sharers with those who were so treated for you showed sympathy to the prisoners and they accepted joy joyfully the seizure of your property knowing that you have for yourselves a better possession and a lasting one Therefore, do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward, for you have need of endurance, so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what is was promised. For yet in a very little while, he who is coming will come, and will not delay. But my righteousness but my righteous one shall live by faith and if he shrinks back my soul no pleasure in him 
you know, that this isn't a game, guys, ladies and gentlemen. This is a, a per. There's a point behind all these. And the sacrificial system wasn't just some ceremony that they went through. You know, and chapter 11 is the faith chapter, talking about by faith this person did that, by faith that person did the different things. Do not neglect to show hospitality. You know, all these things exist. The whole, this was, that was the whole thing. The tabernacle existed to teach us about how to draw close to Yahweh. Like Yeshua said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. He, he is the doorways. He is the tr way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father into the holy of represented by the holy of holies but by him we can't enter into the holy place without him and like it says at the end of hebrews tw hebrews 12 last verse verse 29 for our god is a consuming fire that's what the sacrificial system was to teach why did they why did they promote a lot of the things? Why did they burn the lobe of the liver, the fat surrounding the, the liver and the kidneys? And why the kidneys? Because they cleanse the blood. Which shows you the wages of sin is death. That's absolutely right. The wages of sin is death. God is a consuming fire. He consumes sin. That's why he told Moshe, Moses, no one can see my face and live. This is not a game. This is not a ceremony. None of this is ceremonial. It is to teach us. The, the, the eating queen meats has to do with, you know, how do we treat this temple? Are we going to treat it with respect and honor? as his creation, the, the something he owns. We don't own this body. It, it belongs to him. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. This, belo this body belongs to him. So, you know, we have to realize this is no, th there is no ceremony in this, in the Bible. There is no separation of ceremonial laws and 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 moral laws really no the sacrificial system was to show you the need for a messiah that no sinful man like it's like I read it says in Hebrews it was a reminder of sin it was a reminder of sin what the cost of sin was it's, it's to show us, here's how you get to the Father. The salvation has existed since Adam. When Adam's fall, we at Adam's fall we sin all, as you see in the New England primer. Uh, at, so, at his fault, we were, had a separation from God. That's why we had to wear clothes. That's why he gave us clothes to wear. But as we enter in, like you notice the high priest, he had to wear linen garments. And so did I think of the rest of the priests, if you read about their garments. They had to wear linen garments. But you can read Hebrews and it makes you, shows you Yeshua was our atonement. Atonement is when we go into the Father, wherein he says, Here's my bride, Father. This isn't this isn't ceremony. None of this is ceremony. Shalom, shalom.